This is section A of my cell film assignment. In this lesson for grade tens, my lesson objectives will be the following. Firstly, at the beginning of the lesson, the student should already know how to do a reading comprehension, how to do a summary, editing and language skills in context, and having knowledge about visual literacy. Secondly, at the end of the lesson, the student should be able to give an outline of what an essay is and what the different type of essays are. Thirdly, by the end of the lesson, the student should be able to describe the different types of essays that can be written. Fourthly, given a blank piece of paper and a topic, the students will write an essay with full comprehension of the essay structure and the different types of essays. And lastly, by the end of this lesson, students should be able to write an essay about any given topic. In order to ensure that the students reach their respective aims and objectives, I will make use of the following questions on this slide. I'm going to keep my learners interested using the following LTSM. Examples, pictures, videos, and a PowerPoint presentation. This will keep the students interacting with the lesson. The telling method is one of the teacher directed methods that I will use. Another teacher directed method that I will use is scaffolding. Scaffolding is when you give the right amount of support at the beginning of a lesson and then take it away gradually. A third teacher directed method that I'm going to use is demonstration. The last teacher directed method I will use is questioning. These examples of an essay outline, giving a brief overview on the structure of the essay, is part of the telling method. The telling method is part of my selected teacher directed methods. I chose this method because I feel it is good to teach with examples. I will already discuss the outline with them while they are able to see an example keeping them engaged with the lesson. Just as mentioned in the previous slide, the examples will keep the students engaged with the lesson while I already go through the parts of an essay with them, referring to the introduction, body and conclusion as I go along. I will be using the demonstration method throughout my lesson. It is a teacher directed method that I have chosen. It will be structured as follows. There will be a voiceover on the PowerPoint presentation where I will go through the whole lesson with the students. At the beginning of the lesson, I will tell them what an essay is and how to write one. In the middle, I will remind them on what to do and what not to do in an essay and at the end of the lesson I will revise what an essay is and how to write one. I chose this method because I feel it will keep the learners interested and engaged throughout the lesson. With this video the students get an entertaining way in which they revise what has been discussed in the previous slides. This will help when I use the refocusing method. This method is part of my learning centered methods. It will help the students connect all the given information to be able to write an essay. The pausing and refocusing method will be used when I discuss the different types of essays. And when I ask them questions about them, this will help their memory and recall skills. One of the learner-centered methods that I will be using is discussion. The second learner-centered method that I will be using is the cooperative learning method. I'm going to make use of the discussion method in my lesson, referring to the class activity. This method is part of my selected student-centered methods. There are two parts of this method that I will be discussing. 
Firstly, the brainstorming exercise. As a class exercise or within the small groups, learners are allowed to add or expand on ideas. Secondly, symposia. A formal group discussion with three or four members. Speeches represent different views on a particular topic. I'm using this method because in this way the students will be actively engaging with each other and learn how to speak up to voice their opinions. I will be using cooperative learning. This is part of learner-centered methods. The cooperative learning will work as follows. Firstly, learners will work together to ensure that all members in their groups have learnt and understood the learning content. Secondly, the groups will be organized and the tasks structured. Thirdly, the learners will work together to reach a goal, solve a problem or produce a product. And lastly, learners are responsible for learning and helping their fellow group members to learn or practice skills. I chose this method because it can integrate different learners, ideas and opinions and can better their sharing skills. It is always a good idea to have a class discussion at the end of a lesson. This helps the students remember what they have learned and gives the students opportunities to ask questions if they are unsure of something.